you know like I just looked at that somebody né? and I could see that they were so shocked that I could read through them have you ever been in a situation where you tell somebody something that they are thinking or something that they are doing although they deny but then you can tell that they can tell that you know and how do you know but they're just trying to convince themselves listen I want to talk to you about that your intuition has scared them off just the three of them just a group of them you see nothing can put and place your adversary off guard than when they know that you know sometimes you know you need to just do that exactly don't worry about anything else the Lord has a way of revealing things you see like I have learned to learn to appreciate when the Lord would reveal something unto me about a particular person and instead of waiting for them to confirm to confess and to admit I would just take it as it is I feel it I felt it and I'm confident the same manner in which when you or your intuition is to warn you is to alert you about something that is how you must take it that is why at the end of the day you must be in a place where let the Holy Ghost guide you let the Holy Bear Ghost be the first in your life you are probably having people right now in your life there are people that are busy against you and sometimes you are able to discover that indeed they are doing something don't be scared to confront them you might not tell them directly as they will deny and it will seem like maybe you are paranoid but some people it is safe for you by your actions to let them know you know sometimes I would look at people that maybe I had them saying something to me or about me and they think or maybe let's just use the word I overheard you know what I mean and then you find that they are at a place where they just think I didn't hear I'm like I know that you said this or for that matter somebody told me or tells me what they said about me and I noticed that indeed people are so 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 good at denying things no questions about that people love denying people do not admit even the things that are true no I did not don't you know in fact there are people who can deny that uh, red is red they can even deny the color of this thing that is how much they are liars so with that being like that I learned to trust in the Lord not to nobody else and let me assure you they might deny but the fact that you know the truth you are done I don't know how many times even in my life even to this very day whenever I recall instances where I would know or realize or discover and spot or feel that somebody is up to no good each and every time I am able to look back and say that yes but then I could see I could see by the actions yes before these things this person it was easy to tell by their actions by their attitude and that is why in each and everything even Holy Spirit he gives you the signs he signals to you and let me tell you that is how you smash your enemies that is how you strike against them don't wait for them to always admit don't wait for them to always be the ones to confess but the Holy Spirit will show you some you will see them even before they start to think about it that is your God brethren do not let yourself to go down whereas you have a God that sees everything it's a privilege to have him in our life honestly speaking it is a huge 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 privilege you know like nothing is hidden nothing can catch you off guard you know I was uh, these days ago I was uh, thinking I was looking and I was checking about the people of God in the Bible the like of Joseph Abraham uh, David and so forth whenever they were about to pass on they would first not they wouldn't be caught off guard 
they would first be in bed they would start to bless their children and all these things knowing that they are about to leave they would just peacefully go you know what i mean not those things where out of the blue did not know oh boom they would know why they were walking with the lord and let me ask you a question you know there is heaven and you know there is hell right so if there is heaven there is hell you know that if you are to make your things right if you are to confess your sins and the lord purifies you and you are in your sick bed and you know you're about to die the lord said to hezekiah uh, put your house in order for you are not gonna recover from this sickness meaning hezekiah it was easy for him at that time to know that he's about to die and then therefore lord i repent from all my sins i clear up my path receive me in your kingdom right so you see that's a blessing honestly speaking to know that you can even purify yourself you can even make things right you can even have your last word with the lord lord receive my spirit erase all the sins you know what i mean unlike somebody who just get caught off guard boom next thing heart attack boom down gone they even gotten a chance to repent if they were one if they were living in sin if they had backslidden you see but then let me tell you that nothing will catch you off guard the lord will talk to you you won't miss heaven you won't miss they won't take advantage you are having the upper hand you know the lord i think it was yesterday uh as i was uh in meditation and the lord revealed something unto my spirit that at the end of the day in each and everything it is true we have oh and speakable power through the lord jesus christ but then you know what the adversary does he makes sure that we don't capitalize listen let me ask you a question how do you overpower a stronger enemy if you wanna uh maybe capture a crocodile how do you go about it human beings are capturing crocodiles if you are to go and we are to decide we want to kill even a huge snake we do kill that is why you will never find any area where a snake is, is uh, terrorizing the entire community uh, because the moment they spot a snake they will gang up on it they will kill it even one individual although people are scared of snakes people are scared of crocodiles but these things that they are not they are not having dominion we are dominating them because we know how to overpower them although we know that a lion is so strong lions are not in control or else they were gonna be in control on this everything why because we know how we know how to fight smart so with us as christians with you as a christian knowing how to fight smart this is how the devil is also trying to outsmart us this is how he is outsmarting our brothers in the entire world it makes you not to use your power it makes you not to know what you can do it makes you not for example he knows if you can pray in the name of jesus oh there is so much power you are bringing so much destruction they cannot withstand that power so what do they do they attack a person's prayer life so you don't pray all together they know they hide the bible they know they make you stop going from to church so that you don't capitalize or else you do you're gonna win so this is how you conquer hallelujah listen pray harder for the lord to the holy spirit to talk through you and please obey when he speaks i pray and i declare and i declare may your discernment in the name of the lord jesus christ may it increase may the holy spirit's voice be louder may you not quench him may you not grieve him i pray be filled open up your heart and be filled with the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and of course you can also book an appointment with me my details are on the comment section below see you next time